All right, so now I want to start talking about lists within our HTML code. So how we, let's create a new web page here. I'm just doing this so that you guys also have examples to look at. So let's create this new list here. Okay. Well, at, like everything else, we are going in our body. And within the body, we want to create lists. Well, in order to make a list, there are two types. There are ordered and unordered lists. Well, to do a ordered list, our tags are OL for ordered list. And they need an opening and closing tag, slash OL. So pretty simple there. So we have our opening OL tag and our closing OL tag. This makes up our total ordered list element. Well, the thing is, is we need to have list items within our list. So we can't just come here and say cat enter. Ooh. We can't come here and just say cat and then do an enter and say dog. This does not create a list. It just, you know, puts text on the screen. What we have to do is we have to encapsulate our list elements in an li or list element. So we say li and then we do a closing li. And we'll do a li and we will do a closing li. All right, so now notice how the minute I wrapped my list in this li, it created a total kind of list over here and it's ordered. Well, this isn't super accurate, so let's kind of go over oh, something. I'm gonna do a header here and I'm going to say, give it some description, internet browsers. So we can rank them. Chrome is obviously first. Then we have Firefox. And last but not least, we have Internet Explorer. So we say IE for Internet Explorer. And we close out our list element with a slash LI. So once again, notice how each element is encapsulated with an LI opening and closing tag, and then the whole list is in an OL. And it creates that. Well, it bolded it all because I forgot to do my closing H1 tag. So we'll do a slash H1. And now if we run it again, we say internet browsers, and then we have our three internet browsers. Well, what if I don't really care that it's ordered? Well, we can do what's called an unordered list. And with that, it's the same exact steps, but instead of saying OL, we say UL. So in our opening tag, we say UL. And in our closing tag, we do a slash UL. And we still do the LI for list elements. So we'll do an LI here, and we'll do a slash LI. And I kind of want to do a, another set, and we'll do one more set. So we have about three list elements here. Well, I want to say, I don't know, I'll say planes, trains, and cars. All right, so now, Notice how up here it numbers our ordered list. If Replit wants to work. Okay, there it goes finally. So it numbers our ordered list, but our unordered list that has the UL tags is punctuated with a dot. So just be aware of that, that those are the two difference. OL creates an unordered list. I'm sorry. OL creates an ordered list. UL creates an unordered list with just bullet points. That is it.